me and my teammates are close. The whole team is just real, like, goofy and fun to be around. Cam, we got the two best defenders in the state, Shawnee Little and Ashton Winfrey. We got Samara Thompson, who's gonna grab every single board. It means a lot to be able to go against more Division I athletes in practice because it's not doing anything but preparing me for college. Me and Cam, we go back and forth a lot. Uh, my mentality is usually if she gets it from me, then I gotta go get it from her. But it's nice that we push each other. It's not a good feeling to get beat by you know, somebody else that's really good on my team. But at the end of the day, she's doing good and I just have the mindset to get the next one back. I've been coaching Cameron for all four of her years. I was, when she was a freshman, I was her assistant coach. She's not going to talk a lot, but she's going to show you exactly um, what it is you want to see from her. Last year, she sat out an entire year. She was able to push through. She went hard in uh, therapy. You know, she did everything she needed to do. And that's exactly why she's where she's at now, you know, stronger and better than ever. Coach Shaq, she means a lot to me personally. She does a lot for me and us as a team. Me and Coach Shaq are really close. Uh, it's definitely bigger than basketball with her. We have a relationship outside of just basketball. And like Cam said, she's always there for us on and off the court. It means a lot to me that I'm a leader on this team. Um, we have a lot of people coming up, so it's nice that I have people looking up to me. The state championship. It meant a lot. It really did because a lot of people didn't think that we could do it. So it was nice that I got to accomplish it with everybody around me that I love so much. It's just fulfilling to watch these young ladies put in the work, trust the process, and at the end of the day, get rewarded for it. It means a lot for us to go out and represent the City League and represent what's always been home to me. Um, it, it means a lot that I can continue to carry on uh, the legacy of Will McKinney. Everybody usually says that the City League is not very good and it's not filled with good teams, but it's nice that we can go out and play against teams that have high caliber players and win games and do what we do. Next year, I will be playing basketball at DePaul University. When I went on my visit, honestly, I felt like it was home. Like the coaching staff, I love them. We're really close. Uh, the team, we got along really well. Like I'm a really goofy person. So I felt like my personality just fit in there. The University of Dayton, in regards to the coaching staff, it felt like home as soon as I went into the campus. I feel like the coach would be expecting me to come in and just do what I do now and be another star player of the team. Cam had it in her from middle school. When she got that offer, when she signed um, and made it official, I was just proud. Free education is the goal. I knew Natalia could play um, Division One basketball. She can go get a bucket whenever the team needs, but most importantly, she'll go get a stop. She'll go get that rebound. Obviously, I will be a freshman, so I will have growing pains. I will have to look up to other classmen and learn from them, but I will also come in and do what I'm supposed to do as a freshman. I'm looking forward to playing with a new team and uh, being able to play on television. <laughs> uh, playing for the Big East will be a really big accomplishment for me. These young ladies work hard for a goal, um, and it's fulfilling to see them uh, see it through, sign their name on the dotted line. My advice to you ladies is to just continue to be great and do what it takes, be disciplined. Everything you learned at Afrocentric is gonna come full circle for you in college. Not everybody gets to, to uh, play Division One college basketball. So enjoy it, be proud of yourself, but the work is the work. It has to continue to get done.